In this example, we have a program called main that will call two functions, addy and multiv. Both functions require two inputs. Addy only has one output, though. Multiv has two. Notice that all three files that contain these programs, main, addy.m, and multiv.m, are all in the same directory. They're all in the desktop in this case. When you start having multiple functions, it can get a little confusing about which order they're executed in. And so, as long as you just go line by line, you'll be fine. So, let's start with the main program. Okay, clear CLC. We clear all the variables from memory, and we clear the screen. Then we say x is 4, w is 5. Then we come down to the next line. We have addy, x, and w as, as arguments for addy. So, we go down to the function. We sort of pause what we're doing up here in the main program. We go down to the function addy, passing the first value, x, which is 4, down to the first variable here in addy, which is a. So 4 gets the value of a. The second item in this argument list, w, has a value of 5, and it will be passed down into the second variable in addy, which is b. So a has a value of 4, b has a value of 5, 4 plus 5 is 9, we come to the end of the function. When we do, we have answer, which is 9, and that gets passed as output to where Addy was. So z gets the value of 9. So we're done with this line. Now we go down to the next line. We call up the function multdiv. And so the rest of this program's on hold until we calculate what multdiv is. We pass down the value of x, which is 4, into the first item here, which is i. The second argument is w. It has a value of 5. 5 will get passed down to the first variable in multiv, which is k. So i gets the value of 4, k gets the value of 5. 4 times 5 is 20. That gets stored in m d gets the value of 4 divided by 5, which is 0.8. And we come to the end of the function. And when we do, we look at our output argument list. m has the value of 20. d has the value of 0.8. So the first item in this output list, m, is 20. That gets passed to the first variable here in our main program. So a gets the value of 20. d, which has a value of 0.8, will get passed to b, the second item in the list here in the main program. So when we execute this code, we indeed see 9 for z, a gets 20, b gets 0.8. So whenever you have multiple functions, just go line by line. When you come to a function, Put the main program on hold until you solve uh, all the values um, in the function.